Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? This is Brian, and uh, this is uh, just, uh, well, I guess I could look how I want, I guess a little late night teaching or whatever, but I want to share something with you that, um, that uh, actually a dream that I had this week. Um, and I just I just wanted to share this with you because I believe it's important. Uh, you all have have heard me teach on uh, covering a lot. Uh, I've, I've uh, just gave you um, several revelations that the Lord has given me <clears throat> pertaining that. And so um, and so the Lord uh, uh, this week gave me a dream and I want to share that dream with you. And then uh, just kind of just give you some, give you a scripture that uh, he led me to uh, that I believe is uh, really powerful, <laughs> uh, but speaks to speaks to that dream. But let me say this: uh, that uh, let me start off by giving you the give you to the dream first, and then we'll go to the uh, the scripture. Uh, reference there that he uh, led me but in the dream I was uh, preaching uh, at this particular church here in uh, in St. Louis and while I was up on the stage preaching uh, all of a sudden there was uh, there was a noise it was kind of like a like a you know and it was coming from above and so I knew it had something to do with the roof about the, the roof caving in and so I was, uh, I ran down, and there was people there, and I was telling, okay, everybody, get out, get out of here, get out of here. So we were getting all the people out, <clears throat> and so we got got all the people out, and um, I I began to see some workers there. Uh, I saw some uh, some guys who were up, <clears throat> who were like an upstairs part, I guess like working on it or whatever, trying to figure out what was going on, but then they started to run out. So anyway, uh, there was a deacon that um, that I know. <clears throat> he was in the dream, and um, he was saying to me, he was trying to explain to me, you know, what was going on and what had happened. And so anyway, um, while that was happening, <clears throat> you continue to see the roof was just caving in. Now everybody was out at this point, and so um, I remember. Um, saying you know uh or heard someone was telling me uh that this one particular uh, uh lady that went to the church that she was an architect and so i asked i said are you an architect and she said yeah i said well, can this building be repaired can it be restored uh, uh can we build again and she said yes we can so anyway as it goes as the dream goes along uh it's kind of weird because like right <laughs> right in front of the church you know, uh, uh, building, there was like this, there was like this, this bridge would just look like a little overpass, but I didn't know why I was there. <laughs> uh, but, uh, it was a bridge and, uh, <clears throat> which it really didn't look like it was needed because here was a church, here was a street and here was houses. And there was a bridge that was like going over, um, <clears throat> the street area, but well, the people, and it, it seemed like all of us were underneath the bridge. And so <laughs> I had climbed out, and I can see the people still standing up on the bridge. And um, this was a really short dream, but when I woke up, I went to the dream book. <laughs> and uh, I began to look at, I began to look at, um, um, I began to look at like the definition of what a uh, what a roof what a roof uh, uh, represent. Okay, now a roof in, a, in this dream book here it says covering. It says oversight, government or covenant, good or bad, Holy Spirit. It also means a rooftop <clears throat> uh, means revealed. Uh, it also means uh, uh, manifest. So uh, with with each of these uh, scriptures here, uh, with each of these scriptures, or, or I'm sorry, with, with each of the meanings in the dream book here of what, of what, you know, whatever you're looking up, 
uh, it gives a scripture reference. So uh, basically, out of Isaiah 30, um, it gives this scripture out of Isaiah uh, 30, verse 1. It says, uh, this is out of the King James, but it just says, Woe to the rebellious children, uh, says the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And so I said, huh, I said, that's pretty interesting there. So I began to you know, read more out of Isaiah, <clears throat> out of Isaiah 30. And so uh, uh, for those of you just joining us, I was just just given the dream, uh, this dream that I had. And uh, the dream that I had was that I was in the church preaching. And while I was one of that acts of churches here in St. Louis and a, and the roof collapsed, uh, it, it, it started to cave in. And so we ran out <clears throat> and all that good stuff. <laughs> and so now um, as I'm looking now as well. Uh, as remember, I told you that in the dream, uh, there was a the bridge that everyone was was uh, was standing under, actually. And I mean, if, like as you're standing outside the church, you can see like just a, you can see that that roof just caved in. I mean, it was it was something. I mean, it was so it was so real. It was so real. Now, a bridge in the dream book, if I can get it again here. It actually means, it means support, it means way, it means faith. It means support or way, and it means faith, it means trial of faith, or it means uh, uh, joined. Um, it gives uh, several scriptures here. Um, several scriptures here. Uh, one out of Genesis 32, 22. Uh, he rose up that night and he took his two wives and his two women servants. And has eleven sons and passed over uh, the Ford Hebrew crossing place. Uh, gives another scripture Isaiah uh, forty three two. Uh, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with uh, with thee, and through the rivers, uh, they shall not overflow thee. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So it just gives you know just different scriptures here, but. But what was interesting was, was like I said, that uh, what stuck out to me uh, was that that roof, that roof. And now, once again, now, what what the uh, the word uh, or what the roof represented was it represented covering, it represented oversight, government or covenant, good or evil. Okay, and it also represents uh, uh, Holy Spirit, and so. Um, then it gives the definition or the meaning of a rooftop. If you saw a rooftop, it means revealed. It also means uh, uh, manifest. Now, now I want to read to you um, Isaiah 30. And I'm going to, as we go through this, and I'm going to read this out of the New Living Translation. Uh, but, uh, but I want to give you what I believe that the Lord said to me concerning this and what the uh what the dream uh meant okay um isaiah 30 verse 1 is that i'm going to read this out of the new living translation it says what sorrow awaits my rebellious children uh says the lord you make plans that are contrary to mine you make alliances not directed by my spirit thus piling up uh, your sins uh, for without consulting me you have gone down to Egypt for help you have put your trust in Pharaoh's protection you have tried to hide <clears throat> in his shade but by trusting Pharaoh you will be humiliated and by depending on him you will be disgraced uh, for though his power extends to Zoan and his officials have arrived in Haines all who trust in him will be ashamed. He will not help you. Instead, he will disgrace you. This message came to me concerning the, uh, the animals to uh, uh, Najiv. Uh, the caravan moved slowly across the um, terrible desert to Egypt. Donkeys weighed, weighted down with riches and camels loaded with treasure, all to pay for Egypt's protection. They traveled through the wilderness, a place of... Uh, 
a place of lionesses and lions, a place where vipers and poison snakes live. All of this, and Egypt will give you nothing in return. Egypt's promises are worthless. Therefore, I call her Rahab, the harmless, uh, the harmless dragon. Now, I want to stop there because I want to give you just what the Lord said to me prophetically uh, about the dream. Uh, first thing He said to me was, I, I recognized, you know, and I knew, you know, who the what you know, the, the church was that I was at and everything. But what He was saying to me was, He said that that He said this word is not just for that church but it is <clears throat> excuse me it is for my body and what he said was he said to me was that uh man's covering uh has collapsed it's not going to but he says man's man's covering has collapsed right it has collapsed and so i was like wow and so i thought what was very interesting what the lord said to me was that he didn't say it was going to but what he was showing me a picture in the dream was in a dream of what was happening in that moment. He's, he was showing me what was happening in this moment that that the covering of man has collapsed. OK, uh, that is uh, is is crumbled in. And it was interesting that even in the dream that that nobody was hurt. Nobody was hurt in the dream that the people got out before the, the roof caved in on them. OK. And so, and so, uh, as I was, as I said, going back to verse one here, uh, it's, it says here, you know, uh, what sorrow waits my rebellious children, says the Lord. You make plans that are contrary to mine. You make alliances not directed uh, by my spirit. Now, let me, uh, I'm going to uh, back up here and I want to read this out of the, um, I want to read this out of the King James, uh, <clears throat> but give uh, some uh uh, Hebrew Hebrew references uh, to uh, the word cover here, which I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, now, the King James puts it this way. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord, said the Lord, they, uh, that take counsel, that take counsel, but not of me. If you remember, sometime last year, I was doing a teaching um I was doing a broadcast and one of the uh, one of the words that the Lord gave me was that um, that his people was taking counsel uh, amongst themselves that I literally saw I literally saw people uh, taking counsel, uh, not just with individuals, but actually with themselves that they were, you know, it was, it was almost like, you know, I saw them in the corner and they were talking to themselves <clears throat> that they were being counseled, you know, they're being counseled by their own mind and you know, counsel, you know, by uh, just, uh, you know, I would say familiar spirits as well. <clears throat> but but I, I seen them in the corner taking counsel, uh, you know, within themselves. But God was like on the other side. And so here the Lord says here, he says, <clears throat> he says, woe to my rebellious children who who take counsel uh, that is not for me. All right. And then it goes on to say, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit now uh this word cover means to pour out it means to be anointed uh it also means to cast or cast it means drink offering it means establish so if we read that again it says woe to the rebellious children says the lord that take counsel but not of me that uh um, and uh, that to be anointed or to be poured out uh, or to be offered <clears throat> or uh, or uh, or cast or installed, all right, um, or to be like a drink offering, uh, but is it to be poured out to be anointed with a covering, okay, to be or to be installed and that's another meaning to to install or to be installed with a covering um, the word covering uh, means a pouring libation um, means molten metal cast um, it means um, covering means veil it means molten image and um, 
uh, what <clears throat> what the Lord was saying here is that uh, that you're seeking to be appointed, you're seeking to be installed, you're seeking to be established, uh, you know, by uh, by a covering that is not of my spirit. Okay. Now, now I, you know the word you know, or the word spirit there in the Hebrew means it means wind, it means breath, it means mind. So so God is what God is saying is that is that you are seeking a covering <laughs> you're seeking a covering uh that uh that is not of my spirit that's not from me that is you know is it is it is not from my mind okay it is not from it's not something that I have breathed it's not something that I have you know released my wind upon uh, so so the the whole um a point of this is is that uh, his people have sought out covering man's covering, but have not uh, uh, embraced his covering. All right, his own covering. Now, um, and so that's what I saw in the dream, is that um, that the covering that that uh, man had, uh, the covering that his people were relying upon they were trusting in uh it it just crumbled it just it it fell in right on them but god you know rescued them out of it before they were harmed okay and so you know you see here in isaiah um uh, the lord is saying here you know you you know you have uh, basically have gone down uh without consulting me you've gone down to egypt for help uh, you have put your trust in Pharaoh's protection. You have tried to hide yourself in his shade, and and this is this is what's happening in the church today, that we are seeking protection uh, from Pharaoh. All right, we're seeking protection from Pharaoh, and putting our trust uh, uh, in Pharaoh, and and this and Pharaoh here represents represents something that you know that is other than God. Okay. We have, you know, and, and this speaking now as relates to man's covering, <clears throat> that uh, we have put so much stock in man covering us that, you know, that it has, you know, we have made that uh, our source, that, um, you know, that we have uh, believed that we can't move, we can't function without it. And so now what, what we have done is we have uh, put our trust in a man instead of trusting in the lord for um what we need uh trusting in the lord for uh you know each step you know and trusting the lord according to the hebrew definition there trusting the lord to um <clears throat> uh to install us or to um uh to anoint us okay uh to uh uh to 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 pour us to to pour us out okay to establish us all right and so this is what god is saying you're trusting something else other than my spirit that is not from me okay you're trusting in something that is not of my spirit look what he says there in isaiah he said he said that you you say that uh you have uh you take counsel but not of me and then he goes in and that and and that cover and that cover with the covering uh, uh but not of my spirit and so and so the very thing that the church has trusted in for so long has now collapsed has now collapsed and so um and you know we'll continue reading here but he says he said look he said, you know, you you won't be able to trust anything in Egypt. <laughs> you won't be able to trust, you know, uh, you know, you looking you you looking um you you looking, you know, for them to, you know, to you know, to bring you some kind of on honor or, you know, something other than disgrace, but that's all you're gonna run into. This is what he was saying. He said, You he said all your trust in him will be a shame in verse five. So all your trust in him will be a shame and he will he will not help you instead he will disgrace you and so he was telling his people that you know you're trying to you know you're trying to go after 
um, you know, you're trying to go after something other than something other than me or something that is not from me, and, you know, trying to uh, get something or trying to achieve something or just by definition, you're trying to be anointed or to be established. And he's and he's saying here that all you're going to get is disgrace. And so now let's go on here in verse number eight of uh, Isaiah 30. Uh, he says, now, now he said, now go and write these things, uh, go and write down these, these words, write them in a book. They will stand until the end of time as a witness that these people are stubborn rebels <laughs> who refuse to pay attention to the Lord's instructions. They tell the seers or another translation says the prophets, uh, stop seeing visions. They tell the prophets. Okay. They tell the prophets, don't tell us. Uh, uh, don't tell us what is right. So they're telling the seeing the 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 uh, the seers, okay, the seeing prophets, to stop seeing vision, stop telling us what you see, okay. And then they go on to say, uh, you know, to tell the prophets, don't tell us, don't tell us what is right. Tell us uh, the nice things. Tell us the lies. Tell us what we want to hear. Is isn't that a picture of today? that I had, you know, that we have seen across the board now that in most, in most of our churches now that the prophetic has been shut off. Okay. And this is something, you know, this is something that, you know, that we have been seeing for like years now. This is something that's like, I mean, it's not new, but it's been going, it's been going on for generations where, where <clears throat> the, uh, prophetic voice has been shut off because the because the people of God are saying we don't want to hear okay we don't want to hear we, we don't want to you know we don't know we don't want to know what you're seeing and we don't want to know what you're hearing okay we don't want to know what you're seeing and we don't want to know what you're hearing all right and so this is this is the reason why you see a lack of the prophetic uh, uh, in most of our churches today uh, because um, because of, of of this very thing that there's there's a soul trust in Pharaoh there's a soul <clears throat> trust in what Pharaoh can give me you know here's a people now all right that know to do and know what's right to do know what they're supposed to do but they don't want to do it so <clears throat> what they do is they say they tell the prophets, don't say anything. Okay, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't want to hear you tell us wrong. You know, we don't want to, you know, we don't want you to, you know, even tell us what you see. Okay. And so um, that's dangerous territory there. And so uh, it goes on here and says, verse 11 says, forget all this gloom. Get off of your narrow path. Stop telling us about uh, your holy one of Israel. This is the reply of the holy one of Israel. Because you despise what I tell you and trust and trust instead in oppression and lies. Look at that. Instead of listening, instead of listening to Jesus, okay, that that uh, the body, okay, that uh, the church has now embraced and choose to trust in oppression and lies. He says, calamity will come upon you suddenly like a bulging wall that bursts and falls in an instant. It will collapse and come cr and come crashing down. That's what I saw in the dream in an instant while I was speaking, while I was while I was preaching the word, <clears throat> the roof collapsed. The roof collapsed. OK. And so. I believe that that what I represent in the dream was uh, was uh, was the prophetic. OK, because I believe that is the prophetic word that is going to uh, uh, rescue the people of God from um, being destroyed. OK, because remember, I told you in the dream, nobody in the dream was hurt. There was no uh, uh, casualties. You know, uh, there no one died. You know, none of that. Everybody got out, got out of the building in time. All right. So, uh, so what I represent the dream was the prophetic that was in there at the right place, at the right time, and the prophetic word. Okay, 
uh, it rescued the people out. It rescued the people out before the ceiling caved upon them. And so here, here's what the, you know, what the Lord is saying to those. He's saying, listen, you know, he's not speaking to those who despise what I tell you and, and trust instead in oppression and lies. He says, calamity will come upon you suddenly. He said, like a bulging wall that bursts and falls in an instant, it will collapse and come crashing down. He says, you will be smashed like a piece of pottery, shattered so completely that there won't be a piece big enough to carry coals uh, from a fireplace or a little water from the well. Uh, this is what the sovereign Lord, uh, this is what the sovereign Lord, the Holy One Israel says, only in returning to me and resting in me will you be saved. <clears throat> Two things there, only in your returning to me and resting in me. So there has to be a returning and there has to be a resting in him. Okay? He says that that's the only way that you would be saved. In quietness and confidence is your strength, but you would have none of it. You said, no, we will get our help from Egypt. Okay? We will get our help from the place of bondage. They will give us swift horses for riding into the battle. But the, only, but the only swiftness you are going to see is the swiftness of your enemy chasing you. One of them will chase you. One, one of them will chase a thousand of you. Five of them will make all of you flee. Okay. You will be like a lonely flagpole on a hill or a tattered banner on a distant mountaintop. Verse 18, so the Lord must wait for you to come uh, to him so he can show you his love and compassion. For the Lord is faithful. He's a faithful God. Blessed are those who wait for his help. O people of Zion who live in Jerusalem, you will weep no more. He will be gracious if you ask for help. He will surely respond to the sound of your cries. Though the Lord gave you adversity for food and suffering for a drink, he will still be, excuse me, he will still be with you to teach you. You will see your teacher with your own eyes. Your own ears will hear him right behind you. A voice will say, this is the way you should go, whether to the right or to the left. Then you will destroy all your silver idols and your precious golden images or gold images. You will throw them out like filthy rags, saying to them, good, uh, good riddance. <laughs> then the Lord will bless you with rain at planting time. There will be a wonderful harvest. Uh, there will be wonderful harvests and, and, and plenty of pasture land for your livestock the ox and the donkeys that till the ground will eat good grain it's chaff blown away by the wind in that day when your enemies are slaughtered and the towers fall there will be streams of water flowing down every mountain and hill the moon will be as bright as the sun and the sun will be as seven times brighter like like the light of seven days in one so it will be when the Lord begins to heal his people and cure the wounds he gave them. Look, the Lord is coming from far away, burning with anger, surrounded by thick rising smoke. His lips are filled with fury. His words consume like fire. His hot breath pours out like a flood up to the neck of his, of his enemies. He will sift out the proud nations for destruction. He will bridle them and lead them away to ruin. But the people of God will sing a song of joy like the songs at the holy festival. You will be filled with joy as when a flutist leads a group of pilgrims to Jerusalem and the mountain, excuse me, the mountain of the Lord, the rock of Israel. And the Lord will make his majestic voice heard. He will display his strength, uh, display the strength of his mighty arm 
It will descend with devouring flames, with cloud bursts, thunderstorms, and huge hailstones. Storm, hailstones. <laughs> At the Lord's command, the Assyrians will be shattered. He will strike them down with his royal scepter. As <clears throat> the Lord strikes, uh, as the Lord strikes them with his rod of punishment, his people will celebrate with tambourines and harps, lifting his mighty arm. He will fight the Assyrians. Now, I'm going to stop right there <clears throat> because when I was in Kansas City last weekend, the Lord gave me a word and I posted it up on Facebook. And um, the word was that the Lord was sending the storms. Uh, uh, he, the, the Lord was sending his storms um, as as a as a uh, fury against uh, against. Um, against the enemies okay that's what i was saying that the against against his enemies okay because your enemies are his enemies and actually it was a word uh to the people of kansas city that the lord was sending the storms to uh their enemies and at the same time he was blessing them and so here's the scripture for that as the lord strikes strikes them with his rod of punishment he his people will celebrate his people will celebrate with tambourines and harps, lifting his mighty arms. He will fight the Assyri Assyrians, okay? <clears throat> Tophet, uh, the place of burning, has long been ready for the Assyrian king. Uh, uh, the, the, the pyre is piled high with wood. The breath of the Lord, like fire from a volcano, will set it uh, a blaze and so and so here's the thing that anything that you are trusting in to you know anything that you're trusting in other than god is going to fail and and uh, uh that dream was very clear to me and and i and i just want to uh just to challenge many of you and and god is god is continually speaking this word you know about you know about man's covering okay um you know man's covering or um, man says that in order for you to uh, go out or step out or to do anything that <clears throat> you need his covering in order to be blessed but we see here through the word here that god is saying that you know that you have to be careful who you take counsel with, but also who you are, who you're aligning yourself with. That if you align yourself with something that's not of his spirit, excuse me, if you align yourself with something without, with, 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 uh, that is not from his spirit, and that is not, that is not of his spirit, then uh, it, it is going to fail, it's going to crumble. And so uh, God wants you <clears throat> to take his counsel. He He wants you to understand that you are already covered by him. Okay? You're already covered by him. And so, um, you, you know, the... Uh, the teaching as i will call it there there's there's a teaching which i believe is it's it's um doctrines of demons really or you know doctrines is just simply teachings uh, uh teachings of, of of demons um that you know if if you you know if you uh step out like that or you do anything you know uh without uh, the the proper covering which they're talking about you know man covering you then you won't be blessed okay but actually that is a curse that has been spoken over you to say that if you don't do it our way then you are going to be cursed now understand the tone of that because and, and many of you have have heard that okay that if you do this or if you step out without our covering then you're not going to be successful that you're not going to uh, uh you're not going to make it whatever you're doing is going to fail and so actually um you know what they are saying is they're speaking it as something that is going to happen but actually they are speaking a curse upon you right there okay i want you to understand what i'm saying 
that um, man says that if you step out without my covering over you, then you will not be blessed. Okay, whatever you do will fail. Okay, and so they're speaking. They're they're speaking that in in a future tense that whatever you do is going to fail. But actually, they're cursing you in that moment. They're saying to you, <clears throat> you will not produce. You will not fail. <clears throat> you will fail. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> that you have an empowerment to fail. They're cursing you in that moment. Okay. And so the reality is, is that that is not so. Because you read in the book of Genesis, God says, let us make man our image and in our, in our likeness. Let us, let us uh, let him have the meal of, of the fish, uh, the, the sea, the birds of the air. <clears throat> and he already gave man dominion. He already said, you know, reproduce, take charge. All right. <laughs> uh, you know, take dominion. You're already blessed. You're already blessed. And so when you hear the father's voice saying to you, now is the time to do this or that, you know, you are already covered. I mean, even before, I mean, my goodness, even before you are, even before you have uh, hear the calling of God, you know, even before God gives you the green light to move on to the next level of your ministry or your next level of your life, or I should say the next dimension, uh, you, you're already covered. You're already blessed. And so, um, and so, um, God is really, you know, prophetically is, is rescue his people. So they won't, so they won't, uh, be collapsed or, or I should say, so the roof won't cave in on because, because now you're going to see this. Now you're going to see this because whatever, whatever is, whatever happens in the spirit, what happened in the natural. And so I believe that when God gave me that dream, it was not something that was going to happen, but it was something that it had that it was happening right now. So I believe that the Lord allowed me to uh, allow me to see what what was happening in the spirit. And he was saying that, <clears throat> OK, this is this is what this is what is going to be manifest. But it's happened. It's already happened right now. I'm showing you what has happened right now, but you're going to see it manifest in the natural. And so God is rescuing his people because there are so many who have been tied to uh, 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 this lie from man. There's so many that has been tied to by this lie from man and the roof is, 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 is caving in on them. All right. It's caving on, on, on them. And it's causing them to have to start over. All right. They have to start over. <clears throat> they have to, you know, uh, their lives are being damaged, ministry being damaged. OK, <clears throat> uh, uh, just, you know, working, working hard and all of that. <laughs> and I'm telling you and I'm telling you, God is trying to pull his people out of the building. He's pulling his people out of those places before the roof collapse. Because he's exposing that structure. <clears throat> he's exposing that structure, that false structure. All right. He's exposing that false structure. And so he's getting his people out before the roof caves in on them. And so this is what, you know, it, it is only a trust in bondage. It's a, it's a trust in bondage. It's, it, is, it is to say, you know, you know, you know it's, it really is taking you back. It's take you back to bondage. Basically, that's what it is. It's take you back to bondage. Bondage. It's the same thing as when Moses led the children of Israel out, and they encountered problems. <clears throat> they encountered problems, and so what was the, what was one of the things they said? Oh, if we would have stayed in Egypt, what were they saying? Oh, if we would have stayed in bondage, it would have been so much better. Okay, and so. This, you know, this type of teaching from man is only to keep you in bondage, which which will destroy your life, which will delay you. OK, which will destroy your ministry. And God says, I don't want that roof to cave in on you. OK, because this because it's going to manifest. It's going to manifest. You, you I mean, I'm telling you, <clears throat> I'm telling you that that structure is down. 
and it's going to manifest here on here on the earth uh, much rapidly uh, because because here's why because so many uh, of the people of God are are yet waiting are 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 still you know <clears throat> having moved into uh, their God given destiny because of fear because the fear that has been planted in them by man that said if you don't leave out or you don't have the proper cover you're not going to be successful but the truth is you're already covered you're already covered and so i am i am a uh, <laughs> living witness <laughs> i am a living witness that when you begin to step out and understand that you're already covered that 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 the blessing of the lord uh is on you okay the blessing of the lord is on you and so um and so i just wanted to share that dream because i wanted to um i wanted to relay this message to you prophetically <coughs> prophetically uh what is going to manifest here in the natural but what is what has already happened in the spirit what the father is saying okay and so all i can say tonight is that you know he that has an ear let him hear what the spirit is saying to the church and so if you are you know in that structure or if you have been uh told that you need uh man's covering or in order to survive you know i'm i'm telling you tonight uh that uh, i'm telling you tonight that 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 lie is only uh, has been spoken to you to, to to set you up to fail but god wants you to know that you're already now you're already covered and i'm understanding and i'm seeing now even tonight as i'm sharing this word with you that i'm just like in that dream that i'm preaching the word of the lord to you and i'm speaking the word of the lord and as the word is going forth the roof is collapsing it's it is it is caving in just what i saw in the dream okay and i see that this word now is calling many of you out because remember in a dream once i heard it i stopped preaching i said okay come on everybody get out get out get out come on get out get out get out get out and everybody got out okay young and old everybody got out and so I believe that this prophetic word tonight is going forth to call many of you out, call you out of that structure, call you out of that place because the roof is going to cave in. One of, one of the interesting things about that, as we were looking uh, through the, uh, the different definitions uh, of this, uh, that we were that we were seeing tonight that um, I believe it was in the dream book that part of uh, what what the uh, roof represent or I should say a rooftop represented uh, a revealing or it means revealed or manifest so you know listen <laughs> listen now is the time now is the time now's the time for you to get out of that now's the time for you to you know because th think about what happens when the when the ceiling caves in okay when the roof you know you know caves in just just think about that i mean everything in there gets damaged everything whatever's on the inside it gets damaged you talking about you know boulders ceiling panels all this stuff falling all over the place and if you're in there, you're going to get hurt. <laughs> okay, I'm just speaking in the nat natural now. If you're in a building where the ceiling is caving in, you're going to get hurt because that structure that was holding it up is. I mean, you know, you got like beams and all that stuff. I mean, falling all over the place, and just you know, and what what you know what's going to happen? It's going to hit your head. <laughs> it's going to hit your head, and so. Um, you know, it it is it it is only to uh, um, to try to destroy your authority, and so <clears throat> and so God does not want you to be in that place when 
uh, I believe his judgment hits. I believe God is. I believe God is 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 judging that, um, uh, judging that teaching uh, that has been preached and that has been relayed, that has been uh, taught on all of that. You know, uh, spewed out. I believe God is judging that. Okay, and so He's breaking up <clears throat> certain alliances that you know that was never. Uh, that was never of him. That was never of him. And so uh, uh, we're going to see this manifest. Uh, we're going to see this manifest uh, very rapidly. We're going to see it manifest, but it's, it's, it's already happened in the spirit. I saw it. But we're going to see it manifest uh, in the natural. And so I would just say to you, watch the signs. Watch the signs. Watch what's happening all around you, okay? And just know tonight, and I just really, really, really just want you to just um, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. I love, I, I love Proverbs three. I love Proverbs three, uh, uh, chapter three. It says, "Trust in the Lord." Uh, I believe it's three five. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and uh, lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. And, you know, I just want to, I just want to go there right quick as, as, as I close tonight. I just want to go there right quickly as I close tonight. I just think that is this so powerful. It says, my son, forget not my law, but let that but let that heart let me get this in another <laughs> another translation here new living translation it says my child never forget the things i've taught you store my commands in your heart for they will give you a long and satisfying life never let loyalty and kindness get away from you wear them like a necklace write them deep within your heart then you will find favor with both God and people, and you will gain a good reputation. Um, verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not depend on your own understanding. Okay? This is what the Lord is addressing to us. You know, we have depended on our own understanding for so long. And he says, don't trust don't trust in your own or do not depend upon your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do and he will direct your path. Don't be impressed by your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn back on e and turn your back on evil. Then he then you will gain renewed health and vitality. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything in your land produces. Then he will fill your barns with grain. Your vats will overflow with the finest wine. My child, don't ignore when the Lord disciplines you. And don't be discouraged when he corrects you. For the Lord corrects those he loves, just as a father corrects a child in whom he delights. Happy is the person who finds wisdom and gains understanding. And so... When it all boils down to this, that we got to really get back to trusting, trusting in the Lord. This is something that the Lord has been speaking for several years now, several years. Trusting in him. Trusting in him, getting back to that place of trusting him. You know, don't don't, you know, get your trust off of man. Get your trust off a of man. <clears throat> okay. Jeremiah, I believe it was Jeremiah, I believe it was 16 or 17. I believe it was 17. It says, cursed is the man who trusts the man, who makes flesh his strength. And so you can you can trust and put your trust in somebody else, or you can trust in your own self. And the Bible says that you're cursed. In other words, you are empowered to fail. You are empowered to fail if you're trusting in man as source. 
So I'm telling you tonight, if 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 you if you continue to align yourself and be tied to that lie that you need man's covering, okay, you're trusting in man, you're trusting to get something from man that only can come from God. All right. And so I don't want you to be afraid tonight. I don't want you to be afraid. And I want you to know that 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 God really does. He has you covered. God has you covered. And so uh, that's all I wanted to just share tonight with you all. And as I said, just just I just felt led to do that to share that dream with you um, that I had this week, um, so that you will be aware, so you can just be praying. You know, and you know, and those those of you that God has revealed this, you know, this this revelation, this understanding, you know, you know, let's pray, let's pray. I'm telling you, let's pray. We gotta pray because you know there, you know there there are so many who are still tied to this, and we just need to pray. Okay, um, if nothing else that I, that I realized from that dream is that you know it was a nice amount of people there that I was preaching to. Okay. They were under an old structure. And so we need to pray. We need to pray that the prophetic word, that the prophetic word go forth, that the prophetic word will go forth and liberate his people, bring understanding, bring freedom to the people of God, and that the word of the Lord will, will, will destroy fear. You know, if I ever get a chance to, uh, my wife gave me this beautiful statue. This beautiful statue. It's a prophetic picture of what we're called to do. It's a huge eagle. It's a huge eagle, and the eagle is flying down like this. And at the base of this tree stump is a snake. It looks like, probably look like a, a cobra. Uh, but um, but the, the snake opened up his mouth, uh, has his mouth open, ready to bite the eagle, but the eagle's claws are coming right down on it, you know, to just rip it apart. And, and, and you know, and that's the picture. There, there is a deception that is in the foundation, and the only is, is going to take the prophetic, and the eagle represents the prophetic, and that the, it's going to be the prophetic that's going to rip that, that deception apart piece by piece because you think about eagles claws i mean it, that i mean that that joker's claws are sharp <laughs> i mean sharp and so it's going to be the sh uh, it's going to be a sharp prophetic word that's going to rip the deception into pieces that's in the foundation and so this is why God is raising up the apostles and prophets to to really get at the foundation and to, you know, cause his people to get back to building right, <clears throat> get back to building upon the right foundation. And so, so, Lord, I just thank you tonight. Thank you for allowing me to just to share this dream with your people. I want to thank you guys so much for uh, just um, letting us know your your word your word says god that, that the holy spirit will show us the things to come show us the things that must take place and so tonight god i just thank you for showing us what is to come what the things that are that has ha has happened in the spirit but what is going to be manifested in the earth here god and so father we're we're just simply saying this that lord that it that it is about to be released that what we have seen in the spirit is about to be released here on earth and so lord we thank you right now tonight we thank you god yes lord god for 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 crushing lord god and for ripping up every <clears throat> man-made uh, uh deception god everything that has been uh, conjured up by man yes lord to only bring bondage and to only bring uh only to bring bondage and fear to your people i thank you that your prophetic word is just ripping that to shreds tonight 
and we give you the glory and we thank you lord and we thank you for so many tonight being blessed uh, by the word of the lord and i thank you god that it is by your prophetic word god that's coming out of your mouth that so many lives are going to be saved from that structure and so many lives are going to be rescued just in time god yes lord they're going to be rescued just in time hallelujah before the roof collapse god they're going to be saved they're going to be rescued in jesus mighty name i give you praise lord amen and amen well thank you for joining me tonight and uh my little friend here wanted to i guess he wanted i guess she wanted to stop by and say hello this is tigger everybody <laughs> say hi tigger this is a cat that we have uh we adopted <laughs> and uh actually my daughter's cat <laughs> but uh you know tigger tigger was uh just just kind of just roaming alone <laughs> following my daughter and it turned out that tigger's uh mom was uh was hit by a car and so uh we uh taken tigger in and just adopted her and uh she's uh she's a handful <laughs> she's definitely a handful but but um you know this is you know this is uh, also just a picture as well uh of of a spirit of adoption that the lord is uh rescue his people who are wandering okay that that uh, suffered lost and uh, just you know i mean you can see you can see how big she's got she was actually smaller than this i mean she was so small she was so small to where you could actually see her um actually see her ribs and so we brought her in and we just fed her and and um you know gave her uh, milk and, and food and and she's just uh been eating and eating and eating and drinking and she's gotten to this size <laughs> so it's amazing how when you begin to feed you begin to feed you know something you know that's like this you know uh you know it's 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 a major it's a major prophetic picture because you know when she was like just so small and so frail and you know and literally literally skin and bone because she was not fed properly and she was um, pretty much was just eating on whatever she could eat um once she uh once we got her we started giving her you know the right type of food and now she's growing so this is a prophetic picture of what is to what is to come as well is that you know god's people who have been wandering you know and malnourished and not you know not getting the right you know uh food spiritual food that's all changing now and that uh as they are being fed uh the right type of food <laughs> uh right type of spiritual food that uh they're going to grow and they're going to live and so this is what tigger represents and so it's pretty pretty awesome here so say hi tigger she's sleepy she look like she's sleepy so okay <laughs> so all right well thank you all for joining me tonight and uh we will definitely uh uh see you all uh, pretty soon here and uh sign up for our newsletter and uh so you can keep up with us and know when the next time we do a broadcast like this okay much love to you all and take care good night say bye bye <laughs> you want you want to talk Say meow. Say meow. 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 Hmm? Meow. You gonna talk? There you go. You on the mic? Go ahead and talk. <laughs> All right, y'all. Good night. <laughs>